Dr. Jill Biden, at first lady. She was at the football game last night. Did you catch it? Dr. Jill likes us to call her doctor, no matter the setting you see, because it clearly makes her feel important. How sad. You would think that a woman of her age and status would not need to hear an academic title repeated everywhere before her name is said in order to feel worthy. But she clearly does because she has it said everywhere. They've been pushing this from Team Biden, Joe Biden, and Jill Biden for years, for years now. In every press release, in every appearance they make, they make sure you refer to her as Dr. Jill Biden, even if she's not doing or saying anything at all. To the point that even the football announcers on CBS News know, we need to say it. If we're going to mention her, we've got to make sure uh, we mention her properly at this um, testosterone-filled sporting event. Even the sports announcers know that's what you have to say. And let's face it, she's not a real doctor. We all know it. Real doctors go to college for four years and med school for another four and then internship and residency and fellowship. And then they take several boards and they have people's lives in their hands. That's who we know as doctor. When you say doctor, that's what we think of. Fake doctors like Dr. Jill, who insist everyone call them doctor all the time, live in academia for a few years after college and then run around trying to glob on to the respect and admiration we have for medical doctors. That's the truth. I am fine calling Dr. Jill Dr. Jill if she wants me to. I've done it when meeting her in person when I interviewed her and her husband at NBC, just like I have for any PhD who wants me to mention their title or whose academic achievement is relevant to our interview or their appearance on my show. But she's the first person I have met who actually wants to be called doctor everywhere and in any context. Now, I got nothing against PhDs. My dad was a PhD in education, like her. He taught PhD students. My dad hated it when people called him Dr. Kelly. He insisted that his students call him Professor Kelly, and he would never have wanted somebody outside of the university context to call him doctor or professor. She wants it everywhere whether you're interviewing her about her academic field, teaching, or not. Why is that? Clearly, she has got an inferiority complex to the husband. She has said as much. That's why she even got her doctorate to begin with. She wanted to feel important. And now we all have to participate in this fiction that she's a doctor, as we understand that word. Whoopi Goldberg fell for it. She once said that she should be the Surgeon General. (laughs) So dumb. (laughs) I'm a doctor too, Whoopi. I'm a doctor. I actually am a doctor. I'm a Juris doctor, which I guarantee you is harder to get than her doctorate, though I have never in my life asked people to call me doctor. And any lawyer who ever did that would be mocked to high heaven. It's so typical of the left these days. We have to use the exact words that they tell us to, or we are being disrespectful. We have to engage in their fantasies about themselves, whether it's the men who are now women and the pronouns have to be said, and words like field and rule of thumb have to be banned, and oh, just shut up. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do any of that. But I will, when Dr. Jill Biden comes on this show, introduce her by her title of choice. However, I will judge her a little and think she's kind of needy in a way that's unbecoming. Like many people, I am trying to eat healthier, and that is why I love good olive oil. And by good, I mean fresh. Olive oil packs the most flavor and the healthiest, healthiest nutrients when it's fresh from the farm. That's the problem with the supermarket olive oils. They're not fresh. They can sit on the shelf for months growing stale. I just had this experience. Okay, stand by. I'm going to tell you about it. This is why I like my olive oil direct from small, award-winning farms thanks to a guy named TJ Robinson, also known as the olive oil hunter. This stuff is amazing. When I first tasted TJ's farm fresh oils, I fell in love with their amazing, vibrant flavors. They are delicious on everything that you use olive oils for. Salad, veggies, pasta, meat, fish, you name it. Now, I use olive oil. I make my own little salad dressing. You know I can't cook, but I make my own little salad dressing just because I don't want all the hateful eight uh, in my in my dressing. And the one thing you have to have is good olive oil. Well, I ran out of TJ's. And so you know what I did? It's Harvest Fresh now. But you know what I did? I bought from the supermarket. And what else was I going to do? Couldn't like call TJ. I don't know him just because he advertises here. And I could taste the difference. And not only that, my kids asked, did you do something different on the salad? I was like, mm, no. I'm telling you, there is a difference when it's fresh pressed. And that is why TJ created the Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club, which I clearly have fallen behind in and need to get on, and you should too. Thanks to this, and as an introduction to this club, TJ is going to send you a full-size $39 bottle worth of one of the world's finest artisanal olive oils 
for just $1 to help them cover shipping. See if you taste the difference. Best of all, there's never a commitment to buy anything, and you can cancel your membership at any time. Get your free $39 bottle for just $1 shipping and taste the difference freshness makes. Go to harvestfreshnow.com. Harvestfreshnow.com for a free bottle and pay just that $1 in shipping. Harvestfreshnow.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.